A pleasure. Let's talk about this decision by the White House regarding fentanyl. They are making uh, its listing on as a Schedule One narcotic permanent, so I guess that might be a, a somewhat of a deterrent here. President Trump did that too. Isn't that a good thing? I mean, doesn't that uh, also help the situation? I, I, I'm sure you're concerned about the other aspect of it, but it's not all bad, right? Uh, uh, Rob Portman seems to like this. He, he, he the senator said uh, some good things about it. Well, I, I think I think categorizing it as a level one uh, drug is is certainly an appropriate thing to do, but I don't think that that alleviates uh, uh, the uh, the decriminalization effort that uh, that the administration is pushing for. Look, I live in one of the the most uh, uh, drug addicted parts of the country. The opioid and drug crisis here uh, has taken countless lives and and has hurt our communities. Uh, and when you look at fentanyl, 19 grams of fentanyl that can kill 10,000 people, uh, this is a very, very deadly drug. This absolutely does not pass the common sense test for me. You know, it does seem to be kind of uh, in line with some of the other stuff we hear from the Biden administration. You look at the headline, they're going to make fentanyl a schedule one narcotic. President Trump did this. But then you look down a couple of paragraphs and you see the social justice kind of language get worked in this bill. And that's really, you know, what it is. It's a, a wolf in sheep's clothing, I guess. It is. It absolutely is. Because who is it that uh, that's paying the penalty for this? You know, it's the families uh, of those that have uh, become addicted, those that have overdosed and died from fentanyl. We've had law enforcement officials here in eastern and southeastern Ohio that have been exposed to fentanyl uh, during uh, during uh, the uh, conduct of their work and busting up uh, drug rings. Um, it, it is a very deadly drug. We should not be relaxing the penalties for fentanyl. We should be stiffening the penalties for fentanyl, if anything.